I got my hands on the Viral Camo Liquid Blush by e.l.f. Cosmetics. I'm so excited. We went to Target and there were the only two shades that they had in stock. I got the Pinky Promise and Dusty Rosé. I am so excited to try these. I don't know which one I want to try. This one's more like a mauve shade and this one is more like a bright ass pink. So this one gives me Valentine's Day vibes like all around. I can't wait to try this out. Um, currently, I am in the process of baking as you can see. So... Since I can't decide, I'm gonna go in with both. Stop applying your blush directly onto your skin because it's just it's just gonna create unevenness and it's gonna make it look a little patchy. Instead, try this. You want to grab your blush and apply it on the back of your hand. You wanna, oh, that is so pigmented, but I think that could be really pretty. <laughs> grab a clean brush. You can really hear my daughter, I am so sorry. And mix them together. I like to warm it up on the back of my hand. This is, look at that shade. Oh, it looks, it looks peach. I like that. Okay. So I like to coat my brush all around. See? And then go in. Look at that. Oh my God, that looks so crazy. It is super pigmented. Oh my God. I'm gonna blend it first. Don't worry. I think I added a little too much. Mm, let me move you guys a little bit. Yeah. That is so pretty. I'm going to remove the excess with my beauty blender and I'll be right back. Trying to see where the best lighting is. I'm not using a light. We're using just natural sunlight. But I'm going in with a damp beauty sponge. But you can totally hear my daughter. She's just excited like me. These blushes are so good. I love a good liquid blush, but it has to be good. And I don't like when it looks blotchy. But you see, if you try my technique, it will not get blotchy on you. It looks like I have a lot on. But that's just the lighting. Like, do we see how seamless it looks? I'm going to finish the rest of my face and I'll be right back. Yeah. Do you see it? 